Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the map settings and features within our Eufy X10 Pro Omni. If you're interested in this RoboVac and mop, the link to it will be in the video description. Now let's go ahead, open up the Eufy Clean app on your mobile device. Make sure you have your vacuum set up already and let's look at the mapping capabilities and features. So here's the vacuum. You'll want to select enter to enter in. You'll see our map right here, very detailed. Everything's organized and laid out nicely for us. First thing I want to show you is we have the map edit icon towards the center right side of your screen where we can add no-go zones, edit our room, and we can rotate the map. We'll come back to that in just a second. Top right-hand corner, we have our settings. Here's our manage map. This is where we can turn on multi-map saving if you wanna support multiple floors. Say you got a basement and an upstairs and a main floor, you can do that here. We have a couple different maps made and we can pick and choose which map to use. And then those three dots can allow us to rename, revert, or delete the map. So you can manage all of that right there. And if you want to create a new map, just hit create new map and choose quick mapping or map via auto cleaning. Definitely recommend just a quick map and then have it go back and clean, but really up to you and how you want to do that. So we'll go back now. Let's look at the main screen again. We'll hit the map icon and now we'll dive into all of the map settings. First up, you'll see virtual boundaries. And yes, we can add multiple boundaries here. They're just drag and drop and reposition. Same thing for no-go zones. Say there's an area around your house, power cords, tangles, shoes, kids' toys, um, whatever it may be, cat's litter box. You just don't want the vacuum to go near it. You can just drag and drop those. And again, you can add multiples. And if there's a certain area of your house, maybe you got like a favorite rug, I don't know. Whatever it may be that you don't want to have it mop, you can add those no-mop zones. Same thing, you can add multiples of this, really build out your map tell it where to go or where not to go with virtual walls, no-go zones, and no mop zones. Next, you'll see the edit room option here. So if we have it create our map and we're not happy with how things look, we can merge rooms. So we can select those two rooms and we can merge the selected rooms. And now it's just one room. And we can go back. Say we want to divide a room now, we can select this room, choose to divide it that simple now it's been divided so we can rearrange our map that way merging and dividing and then say there's a room that we want to rename we can change them so if we don't like room one two three whatever it may be you can actually pick and choose study main bedroom kitchen all of that can be done right there and you can view there's a little others one too so anyways pick and choose what you want you can do that right there within the app to rename your room. And then lastly, with your map populated, you'll see at the bottom here, we have three different tabs. We can clean the whole house. We can clean a particular room, right? So you could just choose some of the rooms on your map. Or lastly, we can choose to clean by zone. Do you wanna just clean a certain area? Maybe it's highly trafficked. Maybe you just spilled something. Maybe your pet just walked in and made a big mess. Whatever it may be, you can choose to use your map and clean it three different ways.